Hey, what's up everyone? Landon Harris here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week. Um, below we have the current month's supply of inventory for those of you who are following along to stay on top of the market. And if you're not sure what that means, go ahead and check out one of my previous videos, how to best determine if we're in another housing bubble. Um, I break down how that number is calculated and what that actually means for the market. In this video, we're gonna go over the rest of the costs associated with purchasing a home. Um, in the last video, we, we kind of covered more in depth what the earnest money deposit is, and um, we basically said typically it's 1% of the purchase price. Um, for this example, we're going to base everything off of a $250,000 home. Um, these fees do vary slightly based on the price of the home and the size of the home, but this is going to be based off of a $250,000 home. So let's jump right into it. The first check you're going to need to write is for the earnest money, which will be due at the time a seller accepts your offer. So you need to have this money in your bank account when you're shopping for a home. In this case, it's going to be $2,500. The next uh, check you can expect to write is going to be for your home inspection. This would be typically within 10 days of an offer being accepted by a seller. Uh, for this purchase price, you're looking at about $300 for that. Um, it does vary on the company you're going to go with or whether or not there's a pool, but typically you're looking at $300 for a home inspection for this purchase price. Um, another um, thing that would be recommended that you do at the time of the inspection would be to, would be to get a termite inspection. Um, generally about 60 bucks for that. So we're going to throw it in there. I want to cover all the costs um, that you can ex expect to pay um, so that you know what you're getting into. The next check you can expect to write would be for the appraisal. Um, this is something that you would um, you should expect to pay before closing as well. Um, for this price point um, you're looking at $450. Pretty, uh, pretty standard for, for the appraisal. So these three costs, guys, these are this is money you should have in your bank account um, before shopping for a home. Um, the other fees that are part of your closing costs, they can be paid at closing. So if you're getting seller concessions, money from the seller at closing, closing, um, which isn't hard to do, um, you don't actually need to bring the rest of these fees to the table. So the first one you're looking at there would be the lender fee. Um, used to be 1% of the purchase price. Now you're seeing a lot of flat fees. Um, the lender that I use is $1,399 flat, no matter how expensive the home is. Um, so we're gonna use that for this example. Um, another big fee um, that you'll pay at closing would be uh, title insurance. Uh, for this price home, you're looking at about $1,500 for that. Um, another fee would be to the title company, um, the escrow fee, generally about $600 for this price home, um, paid to the title company for, for all the services they're rendering. Um, you'll also be uh, expected to prepay a couple months HOA, if there's an HOA um, for the property you're buying, um, and a transfer fee is uh, also generally paid for by the buyer. Uh, typically you see those at about 500 bucks um, and then depending on how expensive your HOA is um, we're just going to say $750 uh, total for for your HOA closing costs and then the lenders want to see your first year's homeowners insurance prepaid um, you know that could range three to five hundred dollars depending on the coverage that you get and the insurance company you go with uh, we're just going to go ahead and save four hundred dollars for that then another part of your closing cost is going to be your taxes. Uh, for a property like this, you're probably looking $1,000 to $1,500 for the year. Um, generally, they're paid twice a year. It's going to depend on your closing date as to how much um, you're going to need to bring to the table at closing for taxes. Uh, it could be $100, bucks, could be $600. Um, it really is just going to depend on the date that you, you close. For this example, we're just going to save $500. Bucks. And then you have some miscellaneous fees like recording fees, doc prep fees, courier fees, things like that. Generally, it's going to range $100 to $200. And that would wrap up all the closing costs, guys. Um, so to recap here, we have the earnest money. You have your home inspection cost, termite inspection cost, appraisal cost, lender fees, title insurance fees, escrow fee, HOA fees, prepaid homeowner's insurance, and... Uh, some miscellaneous fees. 
So you can see it's about $5,000. You guys, again, it's not hard to get the seller to pay for most of those. Um, but you do want to make sure before shopping for a home that you at least have the earnest money and the uh, uh, money for home inspection, the appraisal. All right, guys, so that wraps up all the closing costs you can expect to see as a buyer. I know it's a lot of information, so you know, feel free to reach out to me anytime if anyone has any questions. I'm here to help everyone. Um, if you know of someone looking to buy or sell a home, feel free to pass along my information to them. I know I'd appreciate it. Um, in the next video, we're going to start to go over in detail the timeline of, of purchasing a home. It's a 30 to 45 day process once you're under contract. So there's a lot involved. You know, I do believe that the more you know going into a transaction, you know, the less stressful it's going to be, the easier it's going to be. Um, and really, I think you'll get a better deal at the end of the day. So I hope that helps. Um, and I will uh, see you guys in a couple of weeks. Uh, that wraps up today's video.